Right, Entertainment with Miss G is on next. Hello, hello. Hi. So, which camp do you belong to? Camp? Are you in Sajeni's camp <laughs> or you are taking over locally? But I don't belong to any camp. Ah, yeah, I hear some people. I love, are. I love them both. I mean, it's, it's their works. Oh, my goodness. Have you been following the trends? No. So yesterday, you know, I told you that you know, Stone Boy was the only Ghanaian art that got nominated for the best international yeah. art at the BET. And he, he thought it was unfortunate and that he wished that there were a few more. Oh, my goodness. And he talked about the fact that he thinks that it's the pull him down syndrome that is denying us the opportunity of being nominated. Whilst, you know, the Nigerians are congratulating each other. We are here talking about no final BEC certificate and all that. Okay, so this is how the story began. So from yesterday, Sakodia tweeted congratulating Stone Boy. I saw Kwakis's tweet as well. Some people, you know, in the industry tweeted saying congratulations to Stone Boy. In Nigeria, Whiskid congratulated Mr. Easy, even though he was so a competitor yeah. or they were both nominated. Davido as well con congratulated Mr. Easy. So we're thinking that Shatawale, you know, would also take clue from what is happening elsewhere. Congratulate Stonebo and let's see what happens. Then people started trolling Satawali that Sajen Lee is taking over <laughs> internationally. I think that got him, you know, angry. So he came and tweeted that he said, none of his fans. So if you can see the tweets rolling, he says none of his fans should be concerned about BET, that he, money, they for, money day for in brain. You know, he has a line in the song that said that money day, money day something something for my brain. Then he comes to say that he can't even find his BEC certificate. Not to talk about, you know, checking, talking about BET. Now, if you check the trends, okay, so all those people are, are trending. So Shatawali is trending and Stoneboy is also trending. They've been trending, but Shatawali has been trending all through the day yeah. because of that comment he made. And a okay, lot of so people... Here's uh, 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 some of his tweets. Well, I'm trending at number one. I love this. Mm -hmm. Good for Good business. Good for business. <laughs> That's the way he sees Easy. it. And no. then my BC said to itself, I don't know where he did. Uh, then we they can't worry about BT. Hashtag. Money, money. money they call me for my brain. That's the part in the song, yeah. in the Taking Over song. And so people weren't too happy about it. I've seen some on air personalities asking, What a BEC certificate exactly, got to yeah. do with What BET. has it got to do with BET? Yeah. You know, and other people are saying that, you know, he's got people following him see, as see well. See some of the tweets that mm -hmm. we have Davido, BET, Whiskey, BET, Mr. Easy, BET, Sombo, BET, Shatawale, Super Bet. You know, the, you know it's, it's, it's interesting how Ghanaians are reacting to the whole uh, Stoneboy. Oh, nomination. no, probably the Super is actually Super BET. Oh, really? Yeah. It's super Bet. <laughs> that is Super Bet, you know. And so when Shatawale compares BEC certificates to uh, uh, BEC certificates with BEC, you see, the man... Wyk and the rest <laughs> go... Hmm. <laughs> you see, so, well, some Ghanaians are not amused about the way Shatawale has handled things. And people are asking, if you congratulate this young man for once, what would change? Yeah. You no, know, just find a way of hiding your jealousy, people are saying, and uh, I've seen a lot of people. But really, Roy, who is held in high esteem here in Ghana when it comes to the music industry, you know, wasn't amused about all the trolls. He thought that Shatawali is looking for money and people are taking pride in going to take an award that is given to them behind the stage. KKD wasn't amused about that. So it's been the back and forth thing, you know. Ghanaians are reacting differently to this. Uh, well, I think, I mean, he, he deserves commendation uh, if Stoneboy has been nominated. I mean, the fact that he's been nominated is a big deal. Yeah. It's not a big deal for Shatawale. He's still looking for his BEC certificate. But let's move on. And the former Deputy Minister of Tourism, Creative Arts and Culture. You know, back then it was Creative Arts and Culture. Now is Tourism, Arts and Culture. So then it was uh, Madame Jifa Gomashi. She says she's not too amused about the change of name. But it's early days yet for all those who are criticizing the ministry not to be concentrating on the arts, but putting, or putting more focus on tourism she says that she might never return to the screen it's only for, for what five months let's wait and see mm. yes i i listen i I'm, I'm slow to judge i'm slow to judge um i'm not sure i'm happy about 
the, the change that ha has happened with the name. But let's see what the work itself would, would bring. I, I'm, I, I think that it's too early in the day to start judging whether it is right or wrong, whether the direction it's going in is, is good or bad. Let's, let's, give, let's, let's give it a day. Let's give it a day. And then we'll see what happens. Are you going to return to active acting? You know, I had, I had actually stopped acting some 15 or so years before the appointment. Mm. I was more into pro producing children's things. I, 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 I found a new love, and that love is to see children bring to life a character that you have given them, a role that you have given them. So I, I'm hoping that I have opportunity to rather produce and direct the children again, as I did with By the Far Side, and as I do with my own NGO, Values for Life. So um, I'm not sure about going back into acting, um, unless you are ready to produce, <laughs> and you play, you dance to the, the tune that I play, mm. and pay how much I charge. <laughs> so if anybody's ready to do that, you would gladly uh, receive the scripts from them? Huh. I don't know. I really don't know. I honestly don't know if I will. But let's see what kind of a script it, it, it is, and then perhaps I'll be able to determine. I'm not sure that, uh, even back in the day when I was busy acting, um, I was careful what kinds of productions I was involved in. That's not about to change. All right, so for me, I'll say, hey, Shelly Frimpo man, so that's a character yeah. there for you. Go that's for it. That's true, her. that's true, that's <laughs> true. So Shelly can sure grab you can it. Pay. Yeah, yeah, she can pay. You know, Israel, if I ask you what thing you did back in the day when you were a little man that got you spanked really hard that you haven't forgotten to date, what do you remember? There are lots of things. A lot of things? Yeah. One of them being you're know, running away to go watch um, <coughs> Wally Cine. Mm -hmm. Yeah, going to the cinema. Uh, it was just in the neighborhood. It's, uh, it's called uh, USSR, the USSR Cultural Center. We called it U at the time. It was mm -hmm. Cuckoo Hill. Mm -hmm. And I'll go and watch a, a movie and come back and I'll get a good spanking. Okay, looks like you and Yvonne Okoro have a lot in common. Oh, really? <laughs> When I was in school in SS, uh, Phantom Man Girls, so my parents gave me my school fees for the first time. Mostly they come and pay. I don't know why they gave it to me. Yeah, why did you give it to me, Mom? They gave it to me and then I went. I, I spent it. It was so nice when I was spending it. How much was it? I can't remember how much it was. And then I spent it and then I... I so the, I intentionally, I think I intentionally spent it because I wanted to come home. And that time, you know, you have to ask, get an exiat to come home. And then the exiat, my goodness, when you get an exiat, it's like heaven sent, it's like visa. So I spent it so that they would sack me. And when they sacked me, instead of going home, I went to Jackie Appiah's house. So we went chilling. So my mother called the school, wanted to speak to me just to find out how I was doing. And when she called the school, they said, ah, you want to She's left a long time ago. I didn't cover my tracks so, because you know, I wasn't a bad girl, so I didn't cover my tracks well. And here I was, I was a boomerang. I was, you know, Jackie gave me some of her outfits. Jackie, Jackie, Jackie has been bad since, since 19, 1852. So Jackie gave me some of her outfits and we went to boomerang. And as I was climbing up the stairs, I see my big brother. So he says, Yvonne. So I turned quickly and I pretended as if it wasn't me. Then I, I went up the stairs. I want to have a good old time. I don't know he saw me and he went to tell my mom. So I, I go home thinking she doesn't know. And then she, she keeps quiet. I said, oh, good afternoon, ma. So I'm just there. And the next minute I see. What do they say? That's, that's saying, spare the... Spare the road for the Yeah, oh, she did not spare me. <laughs> she whooped me. But my mother is that type of person. If she whoops you, you have to cry quickly. <laughs> or else she'll keep whipping you. So as soon as I saw, I saw one, two, three. And at that time, I'd, I was, I had a good time. I didn't care when she was whipping me. Then I realized, no, this was getting... She, was, she kept whipping me. Then I said, no, no, no. I need to stop this. So I started, I started crying. So today, every day, they always laugh at me. That They're like... Ugh. So, yeah, so that's... Okay, her kind of naughtiness wasn't my kind of naughtiness. But at least you guys Well, I, I, no, I, I, I didn't I didn't spend the school fees. <laughs> that's what you're running away from. <laughs> Never did. <laughs> anyway, so earlier in the day, SP Kofi Sopon paid a visit to the former president, uh, Jerry John Rawlins, to invite him for his concert. Here are visuals from uh, the residence of the former president. We have a lot of cultures in, in, in our country here, so we decided to go to the water region and pick the Bobobo, which uh, became um, a household uh, music uh, in Ghana here and beyond. 
And so um, now, but we decided to go to all the regions to pick the coaches to record. But because uh, we were so successful with the first one, we couldn't go, we couldn't, uh, go to another region. We had to record another one, Bobobo again. And that one too has been successful. Now the vision is that we want to um, help um, uh, little children yes, please, with all, with, with all respect, those who are from poor family, to record, um, register for their NHIS. So we have this, they decided to host a concert um, on the 28th of this month. Right, so he essentially went there to invite him? Exactly, exactly. So on the 28th, uh, hopefully the former president will be uh, the SP, Kofi Sapan's concert. So that'll be for entertainment. I'm sure tomorrow we'll get to know what Shatawali is saying. But you know, one thing that Stoneboy has posted, he says, it's nice to find quiet inside you or something like that. So I, I can't wait to see what happens tomorrow. <laughs> but that'll be it for now. All right, thank you very much, uh, Ms. G, with Entertainment. Up next, Aisha Ibrahim joins me with Join News Interactive. Stay tuned. <laughs>